hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so today the topic i'm going to cover is on bending strength of pre-stress beam well uh, before we uh, get into the depth we need to know that why we need to know the bending strength of a pre-stress beam well we know that for beam the major amount or the major factor which has been considered to deflect or to fail this beam is due to this bending mean the due to the bending nature of the beam it is more prone to fail or it is more prone to collapse rather than any other failure pattern there are several other strength which can hamper but the bending uh, or bending strength is the most critical thing that the beam have to sustain so we need to know the bending strength of uh, pre-stress beam so as we know that uh, the most important single property of a structure is its strength why because a member's strength relates directly to its safety adequate strength of a pre-stress concrete member is not automatically ensured by limiting stresses at the service load so we need to know some factors on which the bending strength or we also say this bending strength as flexural strength so we need to know the factors upon which this flexural or bending strength is depending so well uh, in that case the failure of the pre-stress concrete beam may occur either by the rupture of steel or by the crushing of concrete because these two materials are the dominating uh, material in a beam so either or um, any of this material can fail so depending on the amount of steel in the section we can decide which one will fail so let me discuss the factors first the factors on which the flexural failures are possible our first point the percentage of reinforcement in section next the degree of bond between tendons and concrete next the compressive strength of con concrete next the ultimate tensile strength of tendons so these are the main factors on which the flexural failures are dependent so let's come to the design criteria of uh, flexural strength so the design criteria depending upon the various types of flexural failures are we have already gone through this uh, types in our rcc classes and those types are the fracture of steel in tension well we know that why the steel in tension get fracture well this type of failure occur due to the percentage of steel provided in section is low that when the concrete in tension zone cracks it occurs steel is not sufficiently provided to bear up the additional tensile stress transferred to it by the cracked concrete in IS 1343 mean it has been provided that the minimum longitudinal reinforcement of 0.2 percent of all the cross-sectional area in all the cases except the case of pretensioned unit of small section should be provided and in the case of hysd bar minimum percentage is reduced to 0.15 percent next come to the uh, come to the point of the failure due to the under reinforced and over reinforced section so you have uh, already uh, some idea about under reinforced and over reinforced concrete so as the similar way we can describe the failure pattern of the pre-stress beam as well so here uh, 
if the cross section is provided with an amount of steel greater than the minimum then the failure is characterized by an excessive elongation of steel followed by the crushing of strength as bending increased excessive elongation of the steel raises the neutral axis closer to the compression face so in here this kind of beam uh, is known to be in a under reinforced uh, condition and for over reinforced section when the area of steel being comparatively large the stress developed in steel at failure of member may not reach tensile strength so over reinforced member generally fails by sudden crushing of concrete so due to the lack of reinforcement provided in the section there can be a under reinforced failure occur and due to the excess amount of reinforcement provided in the section in comparison to the cross section of concrete thus where the strength cannot be uh, comprehensed by the steel the concrete has to take that strength in that case the concrete may fail earlier so these things we need to check before design designing a pre-stress concrete beam so as per the indian code provision which is is 1343 you can check this thing in change the pin in appendix B in page 59 the moment of resistance for rectangular and T section is given where uh, as per is code we can draw this block of pre-stress where this is the breadth of the beam this is the neutral axis this is the pre-stressing steel the area of pre-stressing steel let's assume to be AP this is the effective depth and here we have already studied this and it will coincide where this was 0.45 FCK right and the length of XU from the centroid of this section from the upper fiber was 0.42 xu and this stress was 0.36 fck b xu here this was the length of xu and here this will be FPU into AP what is FPU FPU is the tensile stress developed in tendons 
at the failure stage of the beam so that tensile stress of tendon into area is giving me the force and here the force is due to this concrete which was we have already got this from our earlier rcc classes it was 0.36 fck is the characteristics compressive strength of a concrete cube which is cured for 28 days into b into xu so the moment of resistance the moment of resistance was obtained as mu equal to fpu ap fpu into ap into d minus 0.42 xu mean this stress i mean sorry this force is the direction of this force and the perpendicular distance what will be the perpendicular distance it will be d minus this so the rest of the length supposed to be d minus 0.42 xu so the force into the perpendicular distance is making this movement to resist this section so this is our equation of moment of resistance where fpu is the tensile stress developed in tendons ap is the area of the pre stressing tendons d is the effective depth 0.42 into xu is the neutral axis depth so from here we have got the moment of resistance equation now the important factor which we need to know is the effective reinforcement ratio so we will get to know this terminology while doing the problem so by evaluating this ratio we will get certain values from the table in is1343 so this is the effect, uh, effective reinforcement ratio which can be described as area of the pre stressing tendon into fpu mean the tensile stress developed in tendons mean area into stress is the force for is the force of the steel or the force of the tendon divided by the area of the concrete block which is b d the effective area actually b d into the characteristic compressive strength of the concrete so by this ratio so this from this ratio you can see that this, this part of this part is defining the force of tendon and this part of this part is providing me the knowledge of the force of the concrete so by this ratio we will get the value of if pu by 0.87 fp and xu by d from is 13431980 appendix b table 11 we will all go through by the, uh, we will all go through from this equation while doing uh, or while solving the problem so i am just giving you the simple glimpse before starting the problem so you will not, uh, need not to be surprised while doing all those problems so these are the terminologies you should be aware uh, before doing those problems so thank you for watching this video 
so i will continue this video uh, in our in my next uh, video session by completing one problem regarding this topic thank you everyone